I don't know if any of you saw this, but my my comment on this was the government of the United Kingdom uh, owes George Orwell royalties. They really do. If you go to HTTPS colon backslash backslash act early dot UK or just act early dot UK should pull it up. Act early dot UK. Is someone close becoming a stranger? Uh, act action counters terrorism. It's a UK government website that you'll notice on the very first page, share a concern. You click on share a concern. If you're worried about someone, call the National Police Prevent Advice line, gives the number and confidence to share your concerns with our specially trained prevent officers. The advice line is available every day, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. <laughs> so there can be no worries about terrorist activities at 2 a.m. morning. Calls outside these hours will be transferred to specialist counterterrorism officers. Well, that's even scarier. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. There's the advice line. You can click on that. What details do we need? Uh, we'll need some information about the person you're worried about, but it will help to prevent officers to know your details in full too. We may need to ask you more questions. Um, this is a website that is fundamentally asking the citizens of the United Kingdom to become snitches on anyone around them. And if you, if you haven't noticed recently, um, this is really dangerous. Right now, it's just really annoying, but it's really dangerous. Um, I keep remembering, and I don't think it's in the movie. I, I think it was in the book. But I keep remembering that Winston in 1984, was very, very concerned about the children living across the hall, even though he helped them uh, unplug their drains and stuff like that, living the slums they were living in under socialism, uh, which is where we're all headed, by the, by the way, uh, willingly, but for our good and for the safety of everyone and for Christians for loving your brother. Um, but uh, Winston was was really frightened about the children because he could tell by the way they were looking at him that they were constantly thinking that he was guilty of thought crime, which he was. And you're seeing that all over the place right now. And it's the government and media that's telling people, this is a good thing. You need to be reporting your neighbors when you think there's something wrong. And you might say, well, but, but what about like 9-11? And what if somebody had reported those folks, stuff like that? It really seems that no one has taken the time to think through the uh, background and thinking of the movie called Minority Report, <laughs> pre-crime. Remember pre-crime? That's, that's, people think that the role of government and police is to stop crime before it happens. Now, as a Christian, just stand back a second. Leave all the techie, weird stuff out. Where is that in Scripture? You, you educate the people as to what God's law is. You educate the people as to what the punishment of God's law is. But where is there anything about preventing someone from doing something based upon your trying to read their minds, your trying to read their hearts, is there, is there anything like that at all? I, I'm not aware of anything. And so God has not given us this ability. God has not given us the capacity to look into the hearts and minds of individuals and to determine they might do something like this. Instead, we're supposed to be responsible individuals who take care of ourselves and protect ourselves against people like that, which is why... Uh, demanding that people be unarmed in the presence of evil is an, an absurd action of a anti-Christian worldview. And yet many Christians support it. 
because they've been deceived into ignoring biblical worldviews regarding God's law and things like that. So here is a, a is a creepy, creepy website. Ken Ham actually pointed it out. And you must understand the things that, you know, spot the signs they're, they're talking, you know, what to look for, what to look for. They're, they're talking about basic radicalization. Okay. All right. So, you know, a young Muslim man who used to talk to you on the street and things like that. And now all of a sudden he's dressing differently and he's very obviously doing all the prayers and he's going to a different mosque. Now he won't talk to you. Um, okay. I, I get that, but you need to understand. And my Muslim friends will tell you, I've been consistent on this line for a long, long time. Christians need to understand that every anti-Muslim action of a secular government logically and consistently must result in the same type of actions being taken against Christians. So when France says no more homeschooling, what they're trying to do, ostensibly, is to stop radicalization of young people by placing them in the state school. Not recognizing, of course, that secularism is a radical perspective as well, but they're a secular state, so what do you expect? Um, you do that in regards to Islam, and you can't avoid the reality that you then are having to do the same thing in regards to Christians and putting Christian children into that anti-Christian, anti-God context of the secular, of the secular uh, educational system. So um, it's not just Christianity. This is the kind of stuff that will be used for anyone who opposes any of the Great Reset. Because the Great Reset will always be expressed within the context of the greater good. So you're creating a hive mind. You're creating uh, the, the, you're creating people who have been taught that they need to think a certain way and thinking another way means that's a bad person and we need to help them. Reading this, oh, reading this website, uh, if you've not read Ira Levin's This Perfect Day, then may I suggest to you, remember, it's not a Christian book. There's profanity in it and things like that, but um, not as much as you get in a lot of movies, uh, to be honest with you, but you'll see. Uh, it comes from a worldly viewpoint, but the point is the medical intervention that they use, the treatments that they use, create a mindset where everybody is unified and everybody it's great. Everybody wants to help everyone else. And everyone wants, wants to be very, very uh, humble and smile and la, 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 la. But the whole idea is if anyone thinks differently than what uni wants them to think, Unicom, the uh, computer that controls the entire globe, um, then you're considered sick. And since you're sick, you need to be treated. That's what this is about. <laughs> it's like, wow. So if you question the motives of a government, and I'm seeing this, I'm watching this on Twitter constantly. People just shocked that you would go, man, I don't trust the government today. You don't trust the government? I remember, a, oh, how long ago was it that I was in New Zealand? I've told the story before. And sitting around with some folks and, and there are Christians going, I just don't understand you Americans and your guns. It's like, well, I, I don't think that you should trust a, a conglomeration of sinners called a government. We trust our government explicitly. And I'm just like, that's... That's what you're going to be asked here too. And so when when the uh, when the masked people, well, they're all masked people. When the masked people show up with their their syringes ready to go, and, and they want to inject you, you uh, you trust what's in there? Do you know what's in there? 
Do you know? How do you know? How do you know? What, what happens once they start saying, well, you know, now we have another strain and another strain, and so we're going to put this in there, we're going to put that in there, becomes a cocktail. And how do you know what's in there? Mm -mm -mm. Just have to trust, just have to trust. Got to trust, 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 trust. Oh, uh, well. Yeah, so um, actearly.uk, man, just spend some time reading through there and just think about, you know, some people, I had some guy on Twitter just get all upset. How can you judge us? You're an American. You don't know what's going on here. You can't judge our society, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, what does, does Big Brother have to come out and start the two minutes hate and put a sign over his neck says, I am Big Brother before you get the idea? It's, it's astonishing. It really, really is astonishing. But check it out. Uh, it, it is, um, it is amazing to to, to look at it. It's oof, wow, shocking stuff.